Hello again, YouTube. Before I fill up my entire channel with nothing but Skyrim mods, I thought that I would go over a few more here just to hit home. Again, displaying my love for small mods that do big things. If you love to roleplay, then I'm sure you've made a few roleplay characters in your Skyrim travels. And in those travels, you may have made a hunter. In vanilla, us console users, we struggled to deal with the fact that hunting wasn't as rewarding as other things. It wasn't as rewarding as magic, it wasn't re as rewarding as sword and board warrior stuff. It was kind of lame. It was a good way to get your archery skill up, but other than that, you didn't get much from it. This mod changes all that. This mod turns Skyrim into like a big game hunter <laughs> spinoff. What does this mod do? Okay, going down the list, this mod is going to revalue and reweigh uh, the leather yield of all pelts in game, as I'm sure you can see from the description. And I don't want to just read off the description, that's kind of lame. But it does, and it does it in a great way. You'll be surprised at how much leather you can carry around and use. Uh, it really gets into the trophy hunting aspect a little bit, and I know there are people that don't like the idea of trophy hunting, uh, but it's not a big deal here. It's just a little add-on. You know, you kill a goat, you're going to get decorative horns from that goat that you otherwise would have to buy from somebody. You kill a wolf, you're going to get ornamental teeth. Same thing with uh, with uh, cave bears. You're going to get bigger teeth. You're going to get more claws. You're going to get uh, more valuable pelts. But the biggest thing to me is being able to kill a goat and get four leg of goat. I mean, is was that so hard that they couldn't put it in the vanilla game? In vanilla, you know, you you kill your goat, you get one leg of goat. Sometimes I've killed goats and not gotten anything off of them. And it's just like, ah, it makes you feel like a prick for killing a goat for no reason other than the fact that you say you killed him. That's not a hunter, that's a prick. This changes that entirely. You're going to yield so much from your game kills that it's just, it's going to blow your mind. This description does not do it justice. It will tell you what you need to know, but it just just does not tell you about the feeling you get from the immersion of it. Another thing is, which is probably the biggest to me, it changes the effects of your cooked meals and removes the need for salt for recipes to cook meat into basic foods. How hard was that to get they could not put that in vanilla? I killed a rabbit, I'm going to cook it and eat it that day, I don't need to salt cure it. I don't need to uh, store it for winter, I'm killing it and I'm eating it right now because i got to go kill a dragon later. The fact that you can throw your food in, make your food, eat your food, get some good effects from it, it really kind of ties into survival mode a little bit, but what it all really does is just brings you into the game more, and that's a common occurrence with my mods. Uh, if you guys are interested in any of the other ones, let me know. I will post them. I will go through them as I'm going through this one. Uh, but you will find in those mods, they are immersive. Now, I do have a couple immersion breaking mods, but that was because, honestly, it was just a little something I wanted to do for a certain character I made. It's not going to be on all of my characters, it's not for all of my playthroughs. It was just for a couple. But, other than those rare breeds, 
you will find immersion mods like this one. This was done with such love and grace for the game, and it's free. This is not a Creation Club mod. This is a beautiful PS4 mod with all the restrictions that we have to deal with. This was still put in, and it was still excellent. It cannot be praised enough. I highly recommend that you download it. Slap 25 stars on it if you can. Uh, do whatever it is that you have to do. Uh, just really pick this mod up. I I'm sure it's been touched upon before, but I had to do it myself just to see if I could give it a little bit of justice. And I know I'm only giving you the description. I'm not giving you any playthrough footage, but uh, this is just something I had to talk about absolutely beautiful little mod download it it's tiny and it brings a world of change highly recommended 25 out of 25 stars <laughs> thank you